It's Chantel and it's Chanette and we're the Yard Girls. Check us out, harmonize and come through, boys. Come, come through. through. <laughs> we're gonna be starting a new series for you guys that we're very excited about. Yes. It will be called External Beauty Turns Internal. And today we're gonna be talking about our surroundings our environment and just surrounding ourselves with like-minded people. Yes. Have you guys ever heard the stigma that as you get more successful that your friends they kind of get cut off or left behind? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That stigma we believe is not true at all. Mm -hmm. I mean unless if that friend is really not your friend they, they need to get cut off. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. But cut it. The people <laughs> But for the people who do support you behind your back, you probably don't even know, yeah. who do wish the best for you, those are the people that you really do need to keep around. Because mm -hmm. they may be inspired by you. Right. And we need to rise together. Okay? Yes. And some people reach success at different ages and different times in our life. Many different ages and times. And that's not to say that you may not be the route or the bridge for the next person to reach a level of success that you're at. Right. But wait a minute now, are you subscribed to our channel? We'll give you guys a second. Okay, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> the people around you are a direct reflection of who you are. And that yes. could be the most minimal way or the most extreme, extreme way. And by that, we're saying you can be hanging out with somebody and find yourself saying similar terms that they say, or as extreme as you deciding that maybe I don't want to drink anymore, maybe I don't want to smoke anymore, and finding it harder to resist those temptations because you are with that particular crowd. Yeah. Now, we're not saying those people are bad. Right. We're not saying that you should never hang out with those people. But what we're saying is that maybe you should align yourself a little bit different to seek a crowd that maybe is not interested interested in that and maybe can give you the tools to pretty much be able to fight that that right. temptation that, yeah so I feel like the biggest takeaway from this video is going to be this right here so listen <laughs> <laughs> to become the person you want to become you must first adapt to those habits so this is where you need to take the time to grow to learn, to focus on yourself, to yeah. face your your hurt, yeah. even if it's painful. You really need to get to know yourself. First, you need to find out what you want, what you want from people, what you want from your life, what you want for you. And then you need to figure out if there's any obstacles in your way. And if you do have obstacles in your way, you need to face those obstacles. It may hurt. It may be uncomfortable. But it's definitely going to be necessary for you to reach your higher power. Mm. That was kind. Of, that was kind of heavy, sis. I don't know how it's gonna play. What I can say though is I am like a sponge. I absorb energy like yeah, nobody's same business. Here. And to reach your optimal self, and if you know that you're the type of person that does absorb energy, you might want to put yourself in the best environment that you can find. Right. So the energy that you're absorbing is top top shelf, honey. You know, it's the liquor top shelf. Make sure your energy is top shelf. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and you can receive energy and take away energy from anything. Yes. from the food that you eat and you mm -hmm. put into your body, from the people you surround yourself with, to your job that you're going to every exactly. single day. Like energy is everywhere and we need to be careful. Yep. We need to take this energy stuff serious. And be conscious of it. I think the, the most important part is to be conscious of that energy. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute now, I thought y'all had subscribed. <laughs> This is me going crossing. <laughs> Cause you guys are crazy. You better subscribe right now. We'll give you guys another second. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> so remember that surrounding yourself around different mentors can help you shift your paradigm, which basically means that it'll help you change your patterns. It'll help shift your patterns. So if you're around mentor that you're inspired by it could be a mentor of anything fitness 
you can see somebody and really appreciate their love and they want right. to learn from that. Inspired by anything, mm -hmm. they will help you. Yeah, for sure. Change your patterns. And remember too, every environment that you go into, you want to make it a better place. You right. are not a parasite. You don't want to just suck without being able to exude yeah. some energy as well. So you want to make sure as soon as you leave someplace, you make it a that much better place to be in. Right. Because you're the shit. <laughs> Before we end this video, we want to make sure that you don't forget to believe in yourself, believe mm. in your strengths. Yes. Make sure you're aware of the attributes yes. that you're laying into these lives. Mm. Hold no negative energy. Mm. Even if that means that you have to forgive yourself or yes. forgive yes. somebody yes. else. Yes. <laughs> I'm like a preacher. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you guys feel that? I felt it. I felt it. Me too. I'm feeling good. <laughs> And last thing, don't forget to stay positive, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this series. 